terrorists are said to be almost ready to stage a chemical attack to frame the Assad regime. The warning has come from Russia's Defence Ministry again, which says it has evidence that members of terror organisations, including Al Nusra, met with the controversial rescue group, the White Helmets, on Friday. At the meeting, various possible scenarios for staging a chemical attack against civilians are made to look as if carried out by government forces were discussed and approved. All those involved in the staging of the attack were to be ready by the evening of September the 8th. Well, the news comes amid top-level international discussions on how to settle the Idlib conflict. On Friday, the 15 members of the UN Security Council met over the issue. And on the same day, the Russian, Turkish and Iranian presidents held talks in Tehran on the situation. With more details now, here's Igor Zhidanov. It's not the first time we're hearing warnings from the Russian Defense Ministry uh, about a chemical false flag attack prepared by militants in Idlib. You know, some further details. Apparently, uh, the militants are planning to use chlorine. Eight uh, barrels of chlorine uh, chemical, of chlorine gas, of the chlorine toxin have been uh, brought to the province. And the White Helmets, why they were present allegedly at that meeting, uh, they are supposed to cover, to film uh, the whole thing. The Russian Defense Ministry is not the only uh, uh, institution making warnings about a potential chemical attack. Washington, D.C., for example, the White House is saying that it will be the Assad government, the Assad forces that will use chemical weapons trying to capture Idlib. Now, this is kind of goes to the contrary uh, compared to what the OPCW, the UN chemical watchdog, is saying uh, because they oversaw the destruction of uh, the Syrian chemical stockpile a few years ago. But uh, definitely what is what is happening right now the situation the chemical concern for Idlib well it is sending ripples from uh, all across uh, the geopolitical scale just on Friday the UN Security Council members sat down together and uh, you can have a listen at uh, the tone of how the situation in Idlib has been discussed there are more babies in Idlib than there are terrorists and I think that should give those engaging in military action uh, pause for thought. When Russia and the Assad regime say they want to counter terrorism, they actually mean they want to bomb schools, hospitals, and homes. We are firmly under the impression that our Western partners are stoking hysteria around Idlib and, in any case, are attempting to prevent the fall of the last major terrorist stronghold in Syria. And this is far more geopolitical than these stated humanitarian concerns for the protection of civilians. Now, it has to be mentioned that according to the UN Special Envoy to Syria, Stefan de Mistura, the Assad government does have access to chemical weapons, just like does the al-Nusra Front, the predominant uh, faction in Syria's Idlib. But when it comes to this northern province, uh, well, uh, the leaders of Russia, Iran and uh, Turkey sat down here in Tehran on Friday right before the UN Security Council meeting and they discussed, they focused on the situation there and uh, what they mostly talked about is how to get rid of terrorists there while this area is so densely populated by the civilians because they agree that the Syrian land should be cleared of terrorists but it just they can't just bomb uh, they can't, can't just blindly bomb uh, them in the area because the Al-Nusra Front would use uh, civilians as a human shield. Yeah. Everyone knows that there are a lot of civilians in Idlib and we must take that into account. The Russian military and the Syrian army have always tried to guarantee the evacuation of civilians. Right now, the focus seems to have shifted completely to the chemical concern when it comes uh, to Idlib. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, by the end of Saturday, the militants uh, will have completed their preparations. So we can expect something to come out as soon as Sunday. Igor Zhidanov reporting there with the uh, Republican State Senator Richard Black has just returned from a fact-finding mission to Idlib. We talked to him about his experience. The Syrian army has incurred enormous casualties in its effort to make sure that as few civilians as, as possible are killed. Uh, it is the terrorists who make it their policy to go out and deliberately kill civilians. There's been talk about a peaceful solution. Um, I don't see that as a, as a realistic possibility. Uh, the terrorists who have gathered there are the worst of the worst. These are the Wahhabists. 
those who feel that it is their duty to execute all uh, infidels. History does not show that the Syrian army uh, has caused widespread civilian deaths.